Live, Bungani, very good morning to you. Tell us more about this vessel. Well, a very good morning to you too, Plain, and good morning to our SAPC uh, viewers. As you said in your intro, we are here at the Durban Port Terminal where the much anticipated uh, uh, reefer uh, vessel, the world's largest uh, reefer vessel, has arrived here. I'll just step out of sorts for my colleague um, Nam Tanguani to just show you the ship, the MV Cool Eagle. It is the first time that uh, this vessel is in South Africa. Well, exactly to, uh, for the massive export of uh, the citrus citrus uh, produce that is as rich as its groundbreaking record in the history of producing citrus in the country. We understand that this year they are going to be exporting 163 million cartons, which is a groundbreaking record. But I have with me uh, Michelle Brook from the Citrus Growers Association, who's going to be telling us more about this export today. So a very good morning to you and uh, uh, thank you very much for your time. Just tell us about this massive export that we are here to witness today. Excellent, thank you. Um, you just said it, it's the largest reefer vessel in the world. Um, it's just coming to South Africa to take a load of citrus to Europe and Russia. The significance of the vessel is that because our industry is growing at such a rapid rate, we need to build in more options to, to ship into markets like Europe and Russia. And this vessel, to give an ex example of the size of it, a typical refrigerated vessel would load about 350,000 cartons. This vessel can take over a million cartons of fruit. So it makes a big impact in terms of being able to export out of the port so we don't have the congestion that we see. The second big important thing is that because of the growth in the industry, we're going to surpass 200 million cartons in the near future. We don't believe that the refrigerated containers will be able to keep up with that demand, and therefore we're encouraging our growers and our exporters to consider the break bulk option as a, a, a real fixture in terms of our season to ensure that we can still export uh, citrus to markets. Well, there must be something that the, the citrus growers have done right this year to produce such a massive amount. What do you think is it that citrus growers are doing right in South Africa to reach this groundbreaking record? Yes, that's an important feature. So there's been uh, quite a lot of trees that have been planted in across South Africa in recent years. But the most significant is obviously the drought impact that happened up in Mpumalanga and Limpopo uh, was obviously rectified with the amount of rain that was, uh, came through the province on the back of that uh, storm um, that, that came in, in January. So very good water supply has obviously meant that the trees have been able to blossom very nicely and produce a very good crop this year. So that's why we're getting to the 163 million carton mark, where we previously we only got to about 136. And so it's a very significant year in terms of volume for, for exports. Well, we understand that this is the first time that this massive amount is being exported here from the ports of Durban. What interventions were put in place? We understand that the citrus requires certain temperatures to be stored. Do you have, did you have uh, enough refrigerators or containers in the ports of Durban or around the city to ensure that citrus is being stored in areas that are adequate for it? No, for sure. So we were led to believe earlier on that the supply of refrigerated containers globally was problematic because of the, uh, the backlog that was in China. We were then alerted and we had meetings with the major shipping lines in South Africa to, to quantify the issue. We came to understand that the, the, the issue was quite serious, so we then confronted the uh, break bulk shipping charters and encouraged the, the growers to charter break bulk, and that's why we see this vessel here today, because we believe it's, it's a very important part of being able to export because of the, uh, the reduction in reefer containers that we have it on our case at the moment. Now, speak to us uh, about bringing in new players into the industry of growing citrus. We understand that there are other uh, growing uh, farmers who are, are new in the industry. What plans does the sea uh, Citrus Growers Association have for those players? Yes, so we have a very strong transformation program within the, the, uh, the Citrus Growers. In fact, there's been a company formed called the Development Growers Company. So emerging farmers that were uh, coming into the, to the industry are supported by that, by that association. And we're seeing a very, very strong uh, emerging black grower group coming into the, into the, into the uh, industry at the moment. So they are being very strongly supported by that company that's been formed and, and, and sponsored by the farmers of Citrus as well, in terms of making sure that they have adequate funds to drive that, uh, that, that initiative. Now, finally, just tell us, this risk, you mentioned that it's moving to Russia, but just tell us, or just pinpoint the other areas that this vessel moving from South Africa will be visiting so that we can get an idea of which other players around the continent are involved in the citrus growing industry. So this specific vessel is targeting uh, Europe um, and targeting Russia. 
our biggest export volume goes into Europe and goes into Russia from all fruit cars, not just citrus. So the importance of this vessel is we're able to then make sure we have continuity and supply to our important market like Europe. Some of the vessels that will come after this will also go into the UK to supply product to the United Kingdom and also into Russia. So a vessel like this has a big impact in terms of being able to access those markets with efficiency and continuity because we're finding with the container vessels they are so delayed in our ports, these vessels can actually get to market at least a week or two earlier than container vessels because they're spending far too long in our ports to, to load because of the inefficiencies of, of transport. Now, finally, we know that the, the loading has already started. Uh, when is this vessel going to be leaving the country? Um, I would imagine that it's probably going to be here till Monday or Tuesday. It's quite a significant parcel that's going to be loaded. In terms of pallets, there's about 13,000 pallets of fruit to be loaded on this vessel. So it's going to take at least up until Monday or Tuesday to, to complete the loading. Well, thank you very much for your time, sir. Great. Thank you very much. Well, there you have it. That was Michelle Brook from the Citrus Growers Association. I can just ask my colleague again, Norm, to show you that the loading process has already started. We were inside. We did see the cartons, the many cartons that are estimated to be about around 163 million that are ready to be loaded into the vessel. You heard that Michelle saying that this vessel is going to be here until Monday, and then we'll be moving on to Russia and Europe. Well, uh, we, we are, they are now are going to be having a meeting. We are hoping to maybe get other engagement from other players who are involved in the citrus growing industry. But for now, plain, let's just take it back to in studio. It's a cool ship with a cool name. MV Cool Eagle is its name. Uh, Bongani Gemma, live for us in the port city of Durban. We thank you very much indeed for your reporting. We'll go back to Bongani if there are further updates.